Hello viewers, today we are celebrating the 12th Sunday in ordinary time, we are A, and our theme is, do not be afraid. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Have no fear of men, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, utter in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim upon the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's will. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Matthew wrote his Gospel, Christian communities were already being persecuted. Christians should consider persecution inevitable. Jesus knows that fear is the worst possible enemy of those who want to announce the gospel. People who are afraid are not free. As he sends his disciples into the world, Jesus exhorts them not to be afraid. In the passage today, he repeats three times, Do not be afraid. Perhaps, those who proclaim the gospel are afraid that the violence used against them by the enemies of Christ might cause them to fail in their mission. Christ reassures them that his message will transform the world. There is also fear of being brutalized or killed. Jesus asks, what harm can the enemy of the gospel do? They can insult us. They can beat us up. Take away our possessions. Kill us. Yes, but nothing more than that. No violence can range from the disciples the life they have received from God. Yet, we must fear the one who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Jesus does not promise that nothing will happen to his disciples, nor is he saying that their lives will be spared or saved by miracles. He simply promises that God will protect the good if they are faithful. Jesus promises to recognize those who proclaim his gospel fearlessly, even at the cost of their lives. Maybe nowadays there is no great danger of being killed because of being Christians, but persecution is always possible. Christ and the church will always have enemies. Do we acknowledge Christ before others, or do we deny him? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for encouraging us not to be afraid. Forgive us for the times we have been so fearful and failed in many ways. 
set us free from any fear that cripples us. May the blood of all martyrs water our faith and intercede for us to become courageous ambassadors of your kingdom. Amen. The peace of Christ makes fresh my heart. Of our